really important when you're doing you know tier three strat to just uh, get your staff right away and use that holy light never it should never be off cooldown really and you just gotta be wary of your heroes considering you have two intelligence hero he's doing a tier two strategy you know box is gonna be in a little more trouble only because like the thing about the tier two strategy is mostly uh, just that you know they're gonna have a huge a larger army and you're not going to be able to like keep your heroes alive versus MK if you're going two intelligence heroes especially if you're going Fire Lord so you need to have your staff and your light pretty much always available to you if that was a pretty clutch move by a box right there that I just saw the MK went to bolt the Archmage the Archmage would have died but he picked it up in the uh, Zeppelin just barely before I bet you this game was played on GGC uh, regardless, uh, Box's consistent use of militia is getting this fight more or less won for him. He is having a bit of trouble um, just because there's simply so much army he has to play against. And you see now, Champ's just sort of keeping him in check here. Every time his Archmage is a little out of position, he'll bolt it and focus the hero. But Staff, in addition to um, light really hasn't given him giving given him much leeway. Uh, Box really hasn't had to staff anything, uh, but you see this knight, his knights versus the breakers for damage for armor, totally destroy um, the uh, totally destroy the breakers. So once he has this these two knights out, he's just going to be doing a lot better. And also because. Uh, champ has no AoE. The footmen of Box are able to do a lot more damage to the breakers than the breakers are able to do to the footmen. Um, then, as you can see, the fire spawns are also very coming into huge play. They're pretty much ownage, uh, no matter how you slice it. These fire spawns because they make it so your opponent um, has like. He has to use a lot more mana on their priests and burns all their dispels a lot more efficiently. So, you know, it, it's good stuff to have these spawns around, but try and spread them out so they don't all get vaporized in like two dispels. And I think it's like 16 or something hits before um, the spawns die, the spawns duplicate. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, now, if you look, um, Box is microing really well in this fight, and that's basically what's keep, keeping in the game. Tier 3 versus Tier 2, uh, especially as soon as you've hit Tier 3 and only have a few knights, it's very micro intensive for the Tier 3 player who doesn't have mortars. I don't know why Box didn't make mortars. I always make mortars. I don't know what he's thinking. I, you'd have to ask him. I'm not exactly sure why I didn't go mortars this game. But if you look, Box is always passing his staff between his heroes, and literally, um, Champ is literally unable to kill a single knight in this fight, which is just really the utter game breaker here. Is uh, Box's longevity? He can just keep fighting like this. He has three heroes. He gets three free units, and every time his opponent focuses a unit, it gets lighted more than once, often, and then staffed out. So, I mean, you really got to figure that the tier three strategy, when microed correctly, almost is just plain better than the tier 2 strategy if you have a good enough early game. Uh, what's important to realize is um, there are some counters to uh, Box's strategy. I've been playing tier 3 a bit recently since I saw these replays in the last two weeks or so. I've been doing tier 3 on occasion. The main things I've noticed uh, with the strategy is you need to be very... S you need to scout a lot more. <laughs> like you can't just assume your opponent is going to go like tier 2 breaker and then just fight you I mean I've had a couple games where like okay so I fought him and then like you know fought him and whatnot and then immediately after um a crept and got like a level 3 paladin like a level 3 fire lord, level 3 paladin, level 4 archmage friggin 70 food army of knight mort priest and then he shows up uh, with 70 food of griffins and I'm like KGG. Okay, <laughs> so you know like 
you can no matter how no matter how good your early game or late game is, there are some pretty cheesy counters to tier three if you're not scouting. Griffins, namely, and oftentimes your opponent seeing you tech tier three will just say fuck it and go tier three as well because if they can't Sork Merc push you and make it work, then they're not going to win the game. It's tier th I mean tier three versus tier two is just so hard for tier 2 if the tier 3 person makes it to tier 3 uh, unabated with absolutely no troubles whatsoever it just makes <laughs> um, the tier 2 person's life a living hell uh, champ shouldn't be fighting here at all he's never gonna kill anything ever even if he, he even if he had all of his DPS focusing night after night staff cooldowns too short between passing to heroes he has no chance of killing any units so Really, I don't know what he's thinking here. Um, now, box from this point on, the game's more or less a steamroll. Um, Champ stays in the game for quite a long time, unnecessarily, even though he had lost. If you look, Champ has literally no meat in his army, and the knights just sort of walk all over him. Uh, the one thing that is sort of rough going knights is um, spellbreakers, like. Like, you don't have any spell breakers, so you need to use the spell on your knights a little more frequently, and they're gonna have so many sorks usually, because, you know, magic damage counters heavy armor of knights, that you're really not gonna have the ability to dispel all the slow, so, um, the main reason you get morts in your army composition most of the time is because <laughs> it's. Like, I, I, I really, I'd really recommend morts. I don't know why Box did in this game. Maybe I should have picked a better replay. But. The thing is, um, your knights aren't going to be your main DPS once they're slowed. They're really not going to offer you as much damage as you'd like. They're more or less just going to be the meat that's going to keep your army going. The mortars, on the other hand, do like 70 damage and pretty much just make the casters explode. So it's really excellent uh, to be using uh, mortars in general. It's extremely helpful. Um, so right now, Champ's Fringe lost. Uh, he has no expansion, and uh, Box is securely in the winning position. Um, <laughs> level 4 Fire Lord. The Soul Burn lasts quite a long time. If you're in a position where you think your hero is going to get bolted, always use your Soul Burn. Incinerate really sucks ass since they nerfed it, so really there's no sense in using it really. Um, I wouldn't bother at least. Um, and yeah, Box isn't really, uh, he's, they've really just spammed all their dispels out, but Box has so many summons with the fire, between Fire Lords and War Elementals on his level 2 Brilliance Aura that it's impossible for Champ to actually uh, keep uh, enough priests in the game to dispel all the summons and it just overruns him. Uh, versus Fire Lord Second, I'll often make extra priests because once you get overrun by summons, it's just <laughs> it's a slippery slope. In no time at all, they have four spawns and three water elementals, and you have like two water elementals. So it's really important to just keep, um, you know, just keep on trucking uh, with the dispel. If you really th if you think you don't have enough, it doesn't hurt to add another priest or two, just to have the extra dispel. So yeah, that's the game. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I don't think that Champ killed any knights this game either. Maybe one. I didn't see it though. <laughs> yeah, so good game. That's my audio commentary. Um, I hope, again, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you have any more suggestions or requests, I haven't been too audio commentating ish lately, but I hope to do more in the future. Um, I think my next audio commentary is going to be hmm, something in my own games, because I've been playing a lot of ladder. I have some good games between all the games I've been playing, maybe some work vs. Human and some Undead vs. Human for fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's all I got for you guys today, so adios.